cape, wearing these blue tights. A hero in tights, really. Here it is. Listen, Lois, this guy is faster than anything, I swear. If you're not fast, you're gonna miss your train. That's it, a bullet, a bullet. He's faster, no, he's faster than a speeding bullet. Come on, get on it. No one's gonna read a comic strip about a strong man in tights, Joe. It'll never fly. Fly, no. But he can leap over tall buildings. Oh, wow, yeah. See what your cousin Frank says in Toronto. Wait, wait, Lois. I I've got something for you. Take it, it's a gift. You never know, it might be worth something someday. Fasten and adjust your seatbelt. Hey guys, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, I welcome you. And if you're returning, welcome back. That's usually how I start, and that's how I'll start today. Right now, I'm traveling. We're going across a few states, and I wanted to show you something here in Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio, one of the things it's known for is the birthplace of Superman. Now, it was a Canadian, Joe Schuster, and Jerry Siegel who created Superman, but it was done right here in the Cleveland area. And I wanna show you both their homes and a plaque that they have dedicating this as the birthplace of Superman. So come with me today, let's go check it out, and I'll show you where the iconic Superman that we all know, that's been around, it seems like forever, but so iconic, it was created right here. Let's go check it out. It's right there. Home of Superman. Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, two Glenville High School students with imagination and talent and passion for science fiction and comics, had a dream about that was gonna become reality in 1932. They, they created Superman the first of the superheroes ever to see print. The 1932 prototype was of a villainous superhero. Superman then became the hero who has been called the Action Ace, the Man of Steel, and the Man of Tomorrow. Now let's check out the other side, because there's more on the other side. Here's the other side. Now although the success of Superman spawned an entire industry, publishers and newspaper syndicates did not originally accept the creation. Superman did not appear until 1938 when he became a lead feature on the cover of Action Comics number one. As co-creators of the most famous of mythical beings, Siegel and Schuster infused popular American culture with one of the most enduring icons of the 20th century. Superman has appeared in animated series, live action series, major motion pictures, advertisements, and comic books, where his popular popularity grows with each generation of readers. Now this is a Bicentennial Commission marker from the Ohio Historical Society. But it's right there. Let's go check out Jerry Siegel's house first and then we'll head over to Joe Schuster's house. Let's go guys. Alrighty guys, so now we're on Kimberly Street in Cleveland and I wanna show you Jerry Siegel's house, the birthplace of Superman. It's really interesting actually because all the um, street signs have the Superman logo on it. So it's kind of cool to see, but let's go check it out. It's right up here. This is the house right here, right here, where Superman was born. This was Jerry Siegel's house. Let's read the sign. This is the house where Superman was born. Writer Jerry Siegel was a teenage boy who lived here during the Great Depression. One of the toughest economic times for Cleveland and the country. Jerry wasn't popular, but he was a dreamer, and he knew how to dream big. With his best friend, artist Joe Schuster, uh, these two boys created a bright fantasy world of spaceships, strange planets, and a city where a young man in red and blue tights could leap over tall buildings. They called him Superman. <laughs> They didn't just give us the world's first superhero, 
They gave us something to believe in. And it's actually really cool because if you look up there, you see the Superman in the window, the plushie, the Superman figure. The house is very, very well kept. Like, very well kept. And you see the plaque marking it as Jerry Siegel's house. And there's the letter S. If you look up in the window, you actually see Superman drawing up Superman, creating a superhero, and then the world knowing about it. Having it happen right here in this house. And we're gonna go over and I'm gonna show you Joe Schuster's house. But this is the house where Superman was born. This is it right here, that is so cool. Alrighty guys, now I wanna take you and show you the other birthplace of Superman. Canadian Joe Schuster, he lived right over here. Let's go check out the house because there's actually a marker there that shows it as the birthplace of Superman. So let's go check it out. Alrighty guys, so I've showed you the plaque, I've showed you Jerry Siegel's house, now I have to show you Joe Schuster's house. He was a Canadian, he moved down to Cleveland, he was best friends with Jerry Siegel, and he was the first one to draw Superman. If you look right behind me, right behind me, you'll see on the sign, it says jo Joe Schuster Lane, and it's got the Superman logo. Well, let's go over and take a look at Joe Schuster's house right behind me and it's really neat to think what started here so Joe lived on this property and when Jerry Siegel created Superman it was Joe who first drew him up well, Superman came about because uh, both Joe Schuster and I were uh, great science fiction fans back in the 1930s. And to fill you in a little on the, really the beginning of it all, one night, as has been mentioned in uh, past stories, ideas kept coming to me and I kept getting up again and again during the night and just jotting down these ideas and uh, these scripts until uh, very early the next morning I dashed over to Joe's house which is about 10 blocks away. I, I showed him the uh, script. So to think on this property is where Superman was first drawn. Now look at the fence. Check out, it shows all the comic strip. And here's a plaque that talks about Joe Schuster and Jerry Siegel. On this site once stood the home where Superman was turned from words into pictures. Joe Schuster came to Cleveland from Canada. He liked sports and comic strips. He drew all the time on boxes, wrapping paper, and even old wallpaper with his best friend, Jerry Siegel, he turned amazing stories about a man of steel into four colored reality. Joe made the whole world look fresh and clean and strong and he made it look super. With the creation of Superman, these two friends showed us the world, showed the world that the most ordinary of us can turn out to be the most heroic. And if you look, this is all Joe Schuster's Artwork, artwork that he would have created when he was creating the Man of Steel. So cool to think it all happened right here. Right here on this property. Now, an interesting thing about this property is that in 2011, a drunk driver took out this fence and it all had to be re rebuilt. Uh, and it was, thankfully, so that there is a place that memorializes the birthplace of Superman. Now you can see now they have in guardrails so that doesn't happen again, hopefully. That's the birthplace of Superman. 
Alrighty guys, I'm so glad I got to show you something I found interesting in Cleveland. The two boys, Jerry and Joe, one's from Canada and they create Superman. And they create Superman right here in Cleveland in these two houses that I just showed you. Now, like I said, I'm traveling across a few different states. There's other things I wanna show you. So hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys.